how to get a buy-in. Let me start with defining what actually we mean by buy-in and why it is important. Later on, I will show you how to basically achieve it or how to increase the chances of the guys buying into whatever you're doing during the consulting project. So first of all, what do we mean by buy? So it means basically that the customer agrees with you, but not for the agreeing sake. He really believes in what you're doing and he really believes that you're creating value. He's happy with the project outcome. So you don't want just the customer to agree with you, like we said in the first place, but we want basically the customer, his representative, his team to be happy with what you did there. He will support the project publicly. This is another sign that there is a buy-in. If he's able to stand by the project, by the results of it and support it publicly, then you know that you've got a buy-in. He will gladly pay for your service. So if the customer is willing to pay for the project for your service, it means actually that he really bought into it and he knows that the, this value was worth money. So he will gladly pay for your service. This is a very good sign of uh, buy-in. If the customer is paying gladly for the service, it means that he sees value in this and considers this value for money. And last thing is that he will want to work with you in the future. And this is this should be true not only for the customer, meaning the owner, the supervisory board or board of member, whoever was hiring you as a consultant, but also the team on the customer side. Now, a few tips how to achieve this. So first of all, make sure that you create value. As we said, this is why you should meet with people often and really understand what they really want from the project in order to then somehow address this in the project. The second thing is that you should meet with the decision makers and team members as often as possible in order to create a relationship. If you have a relationship with the people, they're more likely to like you and there is higher probability of you uh, getting across to them and finding common grounds. Obviously, educating the customer helps a lot. So if he understands what you're doing, why you're doing this, uh, what is the product going to do, how to use it, then obviously the buy-in will be bigger because he will see value in this and he will know actually what's happening to you. This is exactly the same what happens to you when you go to a doctor. If you understand what, what will happen to you, what will be the consequences, you're more likely to follow his orders. As we said previously, it makes a lot of sense to involve the customer in whatever you're doing, make him the co-offer, the co-responsible. In this way, he he will be more attached also emotionally to the project. You should also show him how he can benefit from it. So one thing is creating value for the company, but the other thing is showing the specific people how they benefit from the project being implemented. So maybe strategy which is being devised creates new job opportunities. Maybe it puts them in a better light. Maybe it increases them, their chances of promotions. So you have to understand this and um, show the specific people, not the nameless customer, but the specific people on a specific position, how they can benefit from the customer, especially if you create value for the whole company. Over delivering is always a good practice. So if you over deliver, then obviously it makes the buy-in more likely. And last but not least, you have to prepare the customer to sell the whole idea, the whole project and the whole organization. If he's prepared to sell it, he knows how to sell it, it is more likely that he actually bought into it. Because in the process of teaching him how to sell it to the organization, you actually make him understand it and believe in the project. So that's the tips you should implement in your daily work with the customer in order to achieve buy-in.